Hello, my name is Anyanya Udongo. I am a musician. I've lived in Ukraine for the past 11 years now. My son is a Ukrainian. I am a permanent residency holder. My name is Veronika Ostrovska. My father from Ethiopia and my mother from Ukraine. I was born and raised in Ukraine. Both of my parents are Nigerians, but uh, I was born and raised in Ukraine uh, in a city called Kharkiv, which is now under a terrible attack. Uh, my name is Jan Belenyuk. I am Olympic champion in the Greco Roman wrestling. I'm from Ukraine, from Kyiv. And uh, I am a member of Ukrainian parliament. Hello, my name is Miroslav Kowaldin. I am a singer, songwriter. Then the Russia attacked my country, Ukraine. Uh, I am leave the guitar and take the gun. Because we need to defend our country. My smaller brother is in the Ukrainian army now, and two cousins are on a list to Ukrainian army. On the 24th of February, we woke up to sound of bombs in Irpin. I live not too far from Bucha, 15 minutes from Gostomel. It was scary. We ran for shelter. I was sleeping with my friends 3 a.m. just after a bomb exploded. It exploded some kilometers away, not to show how far, but I could hear the sound very close to my ear. And it left the windows and all the kitchen material vibrating. I remember the first day the war started. I was woken up by calls and texts from family and friends to the tragic news that the country I call home had been invaded. Since the beginning of war, we have, I haven't had a day that I've really slept peacefully because I would never really know that if I sleep today, I woke up tomorrow because of the situation. Um, Russia bombed Odessa, Russia bombed Kharkov, Russia bombed Kyiv. They are killing civilians, they are killing children especially. And it's so horrific actually at the moment, it's so scary to go outside. Now my children hiding in the basement and I'm going to the Territorial Defendant Unit and um, try to fight for independence of Ukraine. Thousands of people are being killed or displaced. Everyone is constantly on the edge and just unable to live. And this is just a harsh reality we have to face at the moment. So we call on NATO to please close the Ukrainian sky and protect the people that call Ukraine home. I address to NATO, please help us to stop Russian aggression. Close the sky about Ukraine. I have a request, especially for NATO, that it should close the skies for Ukraine. More than one million people around the world ask to NATO close airspace over Ukraine. Uh, please uh, close the sky. Please close the skies. Close the sky over Ukraine. If, if this gets to NATO, I would like to ask them, please, they should close the skies. They should close the skies before this thing is too late. I'm begging NATO now, please close the sky for Ukraine. I have been there. I've seen how crazy and how terrible it is. People are dying. It might happen to Ukraine today. We don't know it will, who will be the next. NATO, please close the sky. Slava Ukraine.